Hey, what's up guys? Jarhead here from TV Tactics and I just wanted to bring you a bit of footage from the Crisis Free campaign and just my take on it really. Um, I played the beta and you guys probably saw that. I did it a while ago when it was available to everyone. Um, I don't know, I was kind of impressed by the game, I wasn't too sure on it. But then it came out and I decided to get hold of a copy. So um, I played some more multiplayer started to like it a lot more and then um, I decided to try the campaign because I don't really play campaign on games anymore I normally just jump straight to the multiplayer but for this one I just thought screw it I'll have a go at it and I really really like it I'm not that far in um, I think it's like the third mission or something but I just yeah I really like it I think just the whole the whole game <laughs> I don't even know you know what it is I like so much about it just the surroundings are awesome the graphics are brilliant <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, the crossbow. Ah, oh, the crossbow. It's just awesome. It, it, such a simple weapon that you get all these onto them, and it's just like, you know, you got your guns as well, and then you got your nano vision. I mean, that's sick. Look at that. That is just friggin' awesome. And I just think the missions are so well laid out. Like, what does he want me to do now? We we go under. It's just so cool. I really, really do like this game, and I think anyone, like, I don't know, the buzz for Crisis 3 wasn't that big. I think um, a lot of people weren't expecting much. Like, if you watch a lot of, ah, oh, damn it, they're talking so loud. Hang on a minute, let's see what they've got to say. Explain this to me. Why a damn when they have an infinite power source in System X? Or maybe there's something about System X that scares them. Look, Psycho, how well do you know these people? Can we trust them? What's with their freaking out about my suit? She hates suits. Don't know why. I don't ask. All I know, it was her team with skin in lab. She saved my life. Okay, so yeah. I didn't think the buzz for Crisis 3 was what it should have been. I think a lot of people underplayed it. Um, a lot of big YouTubers that have done Crisis 3 videos barely get any views on them compared to the other videos and I think that's quite sad to be honest I mean Crisis 3 is a good game you shouldn't be quick to judge it like I, I suppose I did at first but now I've actually played it what is your, just open the door you faggot <laughs> called Psycho you pussy yeah he's my favourite character at the moment as well Psycho comes out with some funny shit but yeah, I just think anybody who looked at this game and sort of thought, meh, it doesn't look that great, seriously try it for yourself and you will change your mind so fast, just like okay. I have. Meh. Oh dear. Okay. What's going to happen now? Yeah, that does just leave you, Psycho. I'm assuming control. I need a direct link to the nanosuit's visual output. Over. Roger that. But only for as long as it's necessary. Ah, this is a good feature as well. Mark people out. <coughs> now, there's one way that I really want to take these guys out. And it's just a shame that they're going to be here to suffer. Boom! Now, how awesome was that? Seriously. Come on. You gotta admit, it was. Where am I getting shot from? Uh huh. See? How useful is that? And this anything. Just mark out your enemies. Figure out where to kill them. It's kind of like um, Tom Clancy's Future Soldier, in that sense, of marking out your enemies and then killing them. Oh yeah, face shot, bitch. Uh, was that a good idea? Yes, it was, because there was water there and it broke my fall. Alright, where were the guns? Uh, there. Ah, there's any guns. I need uh, bow ammo. Arrows, I should say. But yeah, it's a really, really, really good game. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, I was going to do a campaign walkthrough, but I don't think I'll go into it now, because so many people have done them. I just don't really see the point and I'm just going to enjoy it for myself. I'm going to be greedy. Why not? <laughs> uh, but I am 
in a few days. Where the hell are these fuckers? Whoa, we've got quite a few. Um, I will in a few days. I'm going to start doing some online multiplayer videos. And uh, hopefully play with a few other people as well. That would be more fun. God, they're getting me. It's annoying because I've got no bow ammo left, but... Fuck you, guy. Oh, I'm in tragedy. <coughs> oh, God damn it. Ah, oh, they're all undercover. Right, screw this. Let's do this the easier way. Has he got like a turret with a shield in front? You know, he's a really hard bastard. Oh, come on. Yeah, now you're dead. Have we got any other hostiles in the area? Oh, yeah. Got quite a few more. See? Just so awesome and handy. Yeah, he's down. He's heading down in the rock. I'm not getting on that well with the guns, to be fair. It's probably... I should probably weigh out pros and cons, not just lick this game's ass, but, um, I, like I say, for the most part, the gameplay's good, but some of the guns, I don't know, I'm not too keen on them, and if you ever run out of ammo, God, <laughs> it's just not a good position to be in, you've got to go all stealthy and stay camoed, whoa, wait, I did not know you were there, alright, that's not fair. But yeah, when you have to kill stealthy, that's it's cool, but it's a pain in the ass. All I'm saying. Oh, well, there's quite a few around. Is that a turret? Yeah, I think so. Uh, but anyway, guys, like I say, I will bring out some more videos on this. I just This is just something I just wanted to show you all. Just to let you know that Jarhead is uh, with the crisis lovers. But um, there will be more crisis coming your way, so keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in my next video.